Hey guys, welcome to my tutorial video. So today I'm going to show you how to create the spiral photos. That's the new craze that's going around at the moment. I'm going to show you this tutorial on the iPad. Um, but it's basically the same process for on a Windows 10 software. So it's exactly the same. Um, and all you need to do is you need to go to Google and type in Spiral Betty. And then it comes up on the top and then you just press on it and it just looks just like this. And all you do is you just press upload image. And you just select a photo that you'd like to use. So I'm going to choose my dog. And this is a zoom feature, so you can just play around with the zoom. So I just want to get her, her head in it. Maybe out a little bit. Just like that. Just press OK. And you need to, on the right hand side where it's got the colours, you need to select the second one. Um, and all this is a slide bar, so you just play around with the picture quality and how many... Um, spirals you would like so I'm happy with that so then you just press the download and on the iPad the easiest way I found it is if you pinch the screen in and then take a screenshot and then you just edit so you just crop it just so it's outside the white just like this and you press done save to photos then you go to Cricut Design Space, New Project, Upload, Select from Photo Library. And then, as you can see on the right-hand side, we've got this big black square. All you need to do is, at the bottom left, it says Remove. And it's the same for the um, Windows 10 software. You'd import it as a simple. And on uh, the next page, the top left-hand corner, you've got a magic wand button. If you get, press on the magic wand and zoom in, and all you need to do is just zoom in one of these gaps of the spirals, and then it will just print your image up. And then, as you can see at the bottom of this, I've got a, a black line. So all I do is I'll just remove this little, this little black line at the bottom. Let's press next and just save it. You can smooth it. And then just press your next and then just save it. I'm just going to save this as honey. Save it as a cut image. And then it will just save into our library. And then I just click on it, press insert. And there you go. So you would just cut this to the size that you want. And then all you need to do is when it prints is you see this outside part. Just weed that and then just it will just turn all in one motion. And there you go guys, that's how you create the spiral. Spiral Betty.